federal government gets back into the swing of things up in Washington, D.C., things back here at home have been rough for local federal employees, including park rangers at Padre Island National Seashore. Our Brian Burns was out there today and shows us how the shutdown impacted the seashore. Visitors here tell me that park employees have done a tremendous job of cleaning up the debris that washed ashore only at the beginning of this week. This is a picture of the debris that littered the beaches when park employees returned after the month-long federal shutdown. Staff got right to work with heavy equipment and played old manpower to pick up the debris, and they've already cleaned at least 10 miles of shoreline. Visitors have been impressed. About four days ago, we came down here and it was, it was pretty messy, but they've done a really good job of cleaning it up. We don't know where it came from. Currents brought up on the beach. There's a ton of, um, of wood and, and other debris on the beach right now. We're doing our best to get it cleaned. We're, um, our maintenance crew hopes to have it cleared down to mile marker 15 by the close of business today. Park Ranger Chuck Lassiter says guests who visited the park during the shutdown did a great job of picking up after themselves. But the month-long furlough was hard on the 60 or so people employed at the park. While the park-sponsored kite day won't happen this year, they encourage everyone to come out and fly their own kite anytime they'd like. From Padre Island National Seashore, Brian Burns, 3 News.